Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Welcome back to another online lecture session. This is lecture 5, titled Chapter 4, Genetic Inheritance. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to first define the terminologies used in genetic inheritance, state the characteristics of Mendel's pea plant, state Mendel's first law, law of segregation, and state Mendel's second law, law of independent assortment. Let's start with the terminologies. Gene is a basic unit of heritage located on specific locus of a chromosome that determine a specific characteristics in the organism. It consists of a DNA segment that encodes a particular protein, for example, heights. Alleles. An allele is an alternative form of a gene, one member of a pair that is located at specific for position on a specific chromosome, represented by an alphabet. Dominant allele is an allele that is fully expressed in the phenotype of a heterozygote. And then recessive allele, which is an allele whose phenotypic effect is not observed in a heterozygote. Locus is a specific location of a gene on a chromosome that controls specific traits. Genotype is a particular genetic constituent of an individual. Whereas phenotype is the physical characteristics or physical appearance determined by the genotypes. Homozygous is when two allele having a two identical allele for a given gene, while heterozygous is having two different allele for a given gene. Capital letters always precede the lowercase and heterozygous pair only determine dominant traits. Next, we continue with the self-cross. Self-cross is a cross between organisms of the same generation. For example, over here, we can see that a crossing between individuals in the F1 generation. So this is between F1 and F1s. Whereas test cross is a cross between organisms of recessive phenotype and another organism of dominant phenotype but of unknown genotype. It is used to determine the genotype of an individual with the dominant phenotype. The individual must have one dominant allele, but the individual could either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Let's take a look at the seven characteristics of Mendel's pea plant, why Mendel chooses a pea plant in many of his experiments. Firstly, it is available in many varieties with distinct heritable features or characteristics. Second, it is very easy to grow. Third, it has a very short life cycle. Fourth, pollination can be controlled. In it has a hidden reproductive structure. Number fifth, its characteristic can be easy be, uh, to be observed or distinguished. Number six, it can be cross-pollinated or fertilized. And finally, it can be self-pollinated or fertilized. Monohybrid cross is a cross is a genetic cross between parents of one characteristics with a different trait derived from one particular gene. The parental organism is a pure breed. The definitions of Mendel's first law, or also known as law of segregation, is each characteristic is controlled by two alleles which will segregate, and each allele is transferred to each gamete as shown in the diagram. Next, we look at the definition of a dihybrid cross. The definition of a dihybrid cross is a genetic cross between parents of two characteristics with different traits derived from two different genes. For example, here we can see the pea plant with two different characteristics, the seed color and the seed shape. 
Next, we look at the Mendel's second law, or also known as the law of independent assortment. The definition of the Mendel's second law, or also known as the law of independent assortment, is each pair of allele segregate independently of other pairs of allele during garment formation, as we can see over here. So, each garment will have a different assortment of alleles. In the real world, not every traits are inherited according to the Mendelian laws. In fact, most inheritance does not follow Mendelian law. This inheritance shows a deviation from Mendelian inheritance. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain briefly the types of inheritance that deviate from Mendelian, which are co-dominant alleles, incomplete dominant, multiple alleles, linked gene, sex-linked genes, and polygene. For this lecture, I will briefly explain co-dominant alleles, incomplete dominant, and multiple alleles. Let's start off with co-dominant allele. Co-dominant allele occurs when two alleles are fully expressed in the heterozygous form. This is because both alleles are equally dominant. For example, the human MN blood group. Do take note on how these alleles are denominated. Capital letter L with superscript M refer to the antigen allele producing antigen M, while capital letter L with superscript N refers to allele that produce antigens N. Next is incomplete dominant alleles. It occurs when one allele are not fully dominant over the other alleles. Therefore, progenies with heterozygous genotype will show intermediate phenotype. A good example of this is the snapdragon flower, Antirhinum species. Please take note on how the alleles are represented by capital letter C and superscript letter R for red or superscript letter W for white color. The last type of deviation from Mendelian inheritance for today's lecture is a multiple allele. It is a situation where one gene is controlled by more than two alleles that can occupy the same locus. In this case, all alleles control the same characteristics, a good example of this is the ABO blood group in human. Please take note that all dominant alleles are represented by a capital letter I, while recessive alleles are represented by lowercase i. The type of antigen produced are represented by a superscript letter A or B. Let's end our lectures today by answering a few simple questions. What does the law of segregation state? Is it A, separate genes are passed independently from each other, from parents to offspring? Or B, every individual possesses two alleles for any particular trait, and which allele a parent gives its offspring is completely random? Or C, just because an allele is dominant does not mean it is inherited more often? Or D, a recessive allele is expressed less than a dominant allele? The second question is, an allele whose trait only shows up when no dominant allele is present is A, homozygous allele, or B, dominant allele, or C, recessive allele, or D, heterozygous allele. If you have any questions, you may refer to the book listed on the reference here, or you may see your lecturer personally that is all from me for today thank you very much assalamualaikum and i will see you on the next lecture